warning, warning, warning. The video that you have clicked on shows the complete process of processing a chicken from a live chicken to a packaged bird for sale. If this is not something that you can handle, please turn this video off now. Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Um, it's hot, very, very hot. It's in the 90s today here in Georgia. Um, we had a market this morning and now we have birds to process. Processed birds last weekend, and it seems like every time I process birds, we have several people that are asking us uh, to show the whole entire process of processing birds from the kill to the finish. I've been very reluctant to do that because I, I didn't want to show the killing of, of animals and things like that on my on my YouTube channel, but um, it's been asked for enough and we're gonna do it this time. Uh, this will be the only time. I will always refer people back to this video. I'm not gonna show this time and time again. So um, we're gonna show you from bird to kill cones to um, scalding plucking and then eviscerating and then packaging later on okay so stick with us and we'll go through the process and i'll show you every step of the way and uh you know everybody may not do it the way that we do it but this is how we do it and i'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people that are very opinionated about how we do what we use and all that kind of stuff so um but just hang with us and check it out uh, this is a very, very low budget setup, and I'll probably go through that at some point or another throughout the video. So let's get after it, and I will show you what we got going on. We intentionally worked the chicken tractors back up this way so that they would be relatively close. So uh, these birds have had feed held off of them for a while. When we get to the processing part of this, where I'm actually eviscerating and all that stuff, I will explain why. Uh, we hold the feed off of them, but uh, get them up here close and that way we can collect them nice and easy. And from there, they go on the back of the mule and then over to the kill station. So we collect our birds from the chicken tractors in this uh, large dog kennel. We get about probably 15 or so in there at a time. These are kill cones. Some are better than others. Uh, we have two different kinds here. I'll show you the labels. Uh, that is the one. We like these. And um, both of these labels are kind of goofed up. But that one, we don't like these quite as much. The little giant uh, right there. So these two right here seem to do pretty good. You put the bird in there. And then you... Pull the head out, and then with the other hand, you whack the, the head off. So those are kill cones. Um, they're I, I'm pretty standard. So what we do with these, since we already bought the other two, and we're going to be able to take them back. So we'll we use these. Uh, we'll kill in these, and then we'll just move them down to those funny-shaped ones to drain. So um, works pretty good that way. You'll see how they go here in just a minute. All right, guys, this is your last chance. Good sharp knife. You want to get as close to the skin as possible. This is our scalding pot. We use just a, a big pot it's set up on a uh, turkey fryer there. Temperature is between 130 and 150 is about optimal. You want to keep them in there, moving them around, getting the hot water under the feathers and against the skin. What this is doing is it's it's uh, opening up the pores on the skin and it's going to allow the feathers to release. So anywhere from probably 40 to 60 seconds, depending on how hot the water is. If it's a little cooler, you want to leave them in there a little bit longer. But it'll go from there straight into the plucker here in just a second. So from the plucker, they come over here to our chill tank and uh, they still have feet on and there's still a little bit of cleaning of the carcass or the skin itself to do. But from there, they will come over here to the evisceration table. 
All right, guys, so once the bird's over here, we'll kind of do a visual inspection. This one's got some uh, a little bit of damage, so this one will probably end up being one of our birds, but the process is the same. So we always start with the feet. You always cut in this knuckle right here, okay? So I fold them back. Sometimes they whack right off. Sometimes you just kind of have to find in between the joint, but it comes off, gives you that nice look like that. And I got a bucket over here. Just like that. So from here, so we got a bird. I'm gonna turn him around this way and I'm gonna come to this front end. So there's a lot, a lot of work that has to be done right here. So I always take this skin and like I say, a lot of people probably do this different, but I pinch it up and I take my knife. I go through just like that. And then I come through and I open that up and all of this other that's in here around the neck, I just kind of separate that. So now that I've got that done, I turn it around Stick my knife in there, cut that up. So from there, you got this right here, it's called a crawl. So that right there is attached to the skin and attached to the front of this breast. So what we do is I take my finger and I stick it into the cavity and then I roll my finger that way. So when I roll it that way, I can kind of get under that and then I take that thumb. Sometimes it's a little harder, a little easier. But from there, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to separate everything from the skin, okay? So from there, I take this, and then I've just got this flap of skin hanging there, and then I've got neck, this crawl, and all of this is separated. So now it'll all pull out the back end, okay? So on the back end, kind of the same thing. I like to pinch that up, and then I'll take the knife, make one nice little cut across there, kind of open it up. So a minute ago I was talking about holding feed off from the birds so they're a uh, pooper right there and sometimes if there's these are pasture birds so they've got grass and dirt and everything else in them so sometimes when you come in here and pull up to open this up like that you'll still have some manure that tries to come out and I got big hands so sometimes that happens but we reach in and we pull So everything so that's the crawl right there that we that we took off up front so everything is still attached right so this tail has an oil gland in it and that oil gland makes your food taste pretty bad so what I do is I take right here I go down that side take all that I go down that side and what that does is that lays that tail out okay so then I'll bring my knife across here I'm at all kind of funny angles here because I got this fancy camera over here but take that tail off so you got all kinds of stuff some people keep some of this stuff heart liver um, gizzard and all that stuff and they clean it all up and they stick it back in the bird and they sell it with it we don't do that it's the general consensus of my customers and whatnot that um, they don't eat that stuff so we're not going to try to sell it to our customers let's get this down real quick here The last thing that I'm going to do, well, not the last thing, but one of the last things, got this little windpipe that always has a problem. But on the neck, I take, I run my knife down into the cavity on this side, and then I bring it this way, and then at the very last second, I kind of roll it across the front, stick my thumb in the cavity, I pull that neck back like that. And then that broke all the bones that are down in there. So from there, we just saw that right off. We do not put the neck back in there either. It's just added weight. So basically now you got this big chunk of skin. So just for kind of aesthetics, I cut that skin off so that it looks nice. And then we will take over here and this whole bird just gets rinsed down. This bird will go through one more cleaning once we get ready to package, okay? So that's a whole dress bird, and that's going to go in the cooler with all the other dress birds. 
This is ice, water, and salt. It's a brine. They normally stay in here for about 12 to 24 hours. They finish, uh, it just pulls any other blood and anything else like that out of the meat. And then we will get them out, dry them off, and get them packaged. All right, guys, so now we're gonna tell you how to get this to look like this. All right, guys, so we use Texas poultry shrink bags, okay? Um, so these bags here, these birds have been cleaned and, and uh, prepared for the bags. So basically the bag, we just put the chicken down in the bag and then I'm gonna show you, we got a straw that we put down in there, which is right here. You stick the straw down in the cavity, leave it hanging out of the bag, put a zip tie on it, and then you take this over to your pot and it'll shrink down and it'll look nice and pretty like that right there. Bag already. And basically what I do is I'll take the legs because I want the legs to be down here and, and the ends to be kind of up here like this. So I take them and I just kind of push them down like I want them. And then I pull all my bag out and then I stand up on its end, take the straw. It's very, very important when you put this straw down in here in the cavity, you only put it about halfway because if it sucks up skin or anything like that, I just kind of get it in there. I like to pull my bag all the way up like this Make sure that the, the legs down, I like my wings to be up here so that you get to see them on both sides like that. And then once I do that, I'll take it and I just twist it. Twist it about twice and get a zip tie. Get the zip tie on it just like that. And now it's ready for the water. So water needs to be between 190 and 200 degrees. So we're right at 200 degrees. So basically at this point, we're gonna take the bird and just drop it down in there like that, nice and slow. You'll feel it coming out. I can tell that there's something going on with my straw. So I adjust it a little bit, tuck it down. I try to get right up here past the zip tie so that it makes it nice and tight. And that's all it takes. Ooh, that water's a little hot. But that's all it takes and it's nice and neat. We'll take it inside. We're going to pull the straw back out. We're going to cut the zip tie off and we're going to cut this excess bag off about right there, three quarters of an inch to an inch to give it a nice, neat presentation. And then we'll have our labels that go on the front of it and it'll be ready to go for sale. So this right here is what it's all about, guys. Uh, being able to produce a nice looking, nice packaged, uh, great product for your customers better for you uh being able to supply local people with good food this is what it's all about for us so um hope everybody learned something on this video uh, i've had a lot of people ask about the actual process and things like that so hopefully this helps uh hopefully this satisfies uh what people have been asking for so we're going to go out here and clean up and do some other things and move on. All right, guys. So that's it for the chicken processing video. Like I said, uh, it's a little gruesome. I know a lot of people don't like that. I always told myself I didn't want to do that on this channel, but uh, too many people asked for it. So there it is. Uh, still got a little bit of cleaning up to do. I know that I talked and said that I was going to show you all a little bit about this setup in this facility uh video is getting a little long i think i'll do another video on that uh in the coming weeks uh, we still have some more processing to do so for this one we're going to close it down thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you have not follow along um everything farm chickens pigs horses cows um might even do a little catfishing in the catfish pond for here too long so we'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching